Uh, today we're going to discuss batch production. Um, our big web systems are large. Obviously, it allows you to print large parts, but also multiple smaller parts. And this is what we call batch production. Today I'm going to go with you through the tools we've developed to optimize your batch production. So today I'm going to use one of those uh, big rep cubes just for you to understand the examples and how we work at it. Um, you can see on my screen a single cube. Uh, it takes a few minutes to print each. And now I want to get to a situation when I want to produce um, a few of them. So in this case I'm going to simply multiply the, the model to three cubes. Let's talk about sequential printing for a moment. In the case I would like to print these three objects, I have two ways to go at it. One of them is layer by layer, meaning I'm printing all three objects all together. Um, let me show you. Okay, in this case it's going to print the first layer of all objects all together and then layer by layer, layer by layer, travel from part to part in order to conclude a print. Advantages, it sticks very well to the print bed and it's a safe print. Disadvantages, um, here I show you, there's a lot of travel move between the objects that might leave marks on the objects. Um, this is something I would like to try and reduce and that's why I'm going to show you also our sequential printing mode. The machine will print every object one after the other and that means that I have less traveling movement between the objects so less marks on the object themselves. Advantage, it leaves less marks on the object and so on. It allows me to control the objects uh, more in details. Disadvantages, uh, they might, there's always a risk of disadhesion with the print bed because the operator is not around when the object starts printing. Um, you have to be very careful and have a very well calibrated machine for that. And there's also the mix mode, which is a mixture of both. This is both layer by layer and sequential printing. This is in the case where I want to do batch production. In this case, um, I'm going to click a special extension we have at the Big Rep Blade software, and that is uh, populate build, build plate completely. So I'm going to go extension, batch printing, and populate build, build plate completely. In this case, um, I have place for 40 cubes and I'm going to slice them and show you how the machine is going to go about it. But basically it's going to print a row of cubes and after that another row of cubes and so on. This eliminates some risk related to, to successful prints, meaning um, if I have a problem, some kind of an issue during half the print, I still have half of the cube printed. Um, in contrast, if I would go layer by layer, I might lose half of my material and all of my cubes. Um, here, let me show you how it looks. Essentially, the machine will travel from front to back um, in order to prevent colliding with its own um, components and will print the 40 cubes this way. Uh, we like mixed mode because it allows us really to, to use the full uh, potential of the machine, the full size of it, and produce uh, high quality smaller parts. Um, I want to show you also one, one last thing for this, uh, for this short video. It's about controlling individual objects within the batch printing. Uh, I'm going to click a random cube here and do what we call a pair model settings which allow me to set up um, specific, uh, specific feature that model itself. And there is obviously, you can control every parameter of the print per model. Uh, in this case, I want to um, I wanna change the, um, the pattern on the top of the cube from, from zigzag to, let's say, concentric and show you how it looks on the overall uh, print for all the cubes. For example, this is good for uh, quick development. You want to test different features of many objects and you can, you can go quicker while printing all the objects together with different settings, different temperatures, different patterns, different, uh, different geometries. 
um, and so on. Here in this case I show you the cubes. Most of the cubes are with lines and this specific cubes is obviously with concentric pattern. Let us have a quick look at different size objects. So up till now we talked about object the same size or repeatability in a way, uh, but now I want to I wanna show you um, how we do, how we deal with uh, objects of different sizes. I'm going to print, I'm going to multiply the object to 3, um, 300 and 400% and I'm going to let the machine arrange them automatically. So we have a feature called um, arrange object for mix mode and this will arrange automatically the objects for the mix mode and now I'm going to hit slice and see how the machine goes about that but essentially there's no limit. You can mix many many objects, many different geometries on the BigRap machine and it will arrange it in a way that it is safe for the machine and um, optimal for the object themselves. To recap, there are two ways to go at multi-part printing, layer by layer or sequential. You can also mix both in a third way. Um, we invite you to investigate how to better utilize uh, your machine by using these features. We believe that mixed mode is probably the way, the best way to go.